Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I will show you how you can download and install Devin HMI software. Devin is a leading HMI touchscreen brand. This is very easily available in the market and as compared to its competitors, Nextgen and Stone touchscreens, it is very cheap and they also give UART touchscreens as well, which we can easily interface with our PIC microcontrollers. So in this series, first of all, I will tell you how you can download and install the Devin software and then I will show you in the later videos how we can program it with a PIC to do various projects. So let me show you what I am talking about. So just go to your Google browser and write down a Devin and everything will be in front of you. So Devin screens are like available in every store. You can see that these HMIs are very cheap and they are easily available and they have a lot of range of sizes as well. And the great thing is no matter how big or small your touch screen is, its programming is exactly the same. So let's go to the Devin website. And uh, when you write Devin in the Google, the first link that you get is the Devin website, devinglobal.com. Click on it. Like this. And here you can see that it shows you uh, various stuff. Okay, here you can see the UART screens. These UART screens, you can use any of the UART screen to interface with your PIC microcontroller. Now, if you go to the product and you see here the TCL FCD, uh, go down, here you have HDMI, HMI LCD modules, HDMI LCD modules, but we are going to use the HMI modules. So, HMI will be used with our PIC microcontroller and the good thing is they have a lot of ranges. I have used these Devin touchscreens up to, as you can say, like 15 inch Devin 15 inch HMI. See, 15.6 inch touchscreen. That's the beauty of Devin that you get it in various shapes and sizes. But the great thing is, programming met method is exactly the same. No matter you go with the 1.8 inch. See, the smallest 1.3 inch up to 1.5, 1.6. See the sizes here. It has great range of sizes. This is not available in the next gen. Next gen is maximum up to 10 inch. See, 32 inch, 32 inch TFT UART supported that you can interface your, with your PIC microcontroller. So this is a very good LCD. So let me show you how to get started with this. Before we do anything, first of all, we will need a software with which we will develop the interface. So for that purpose, you can go to my Google Drive link. This is a Google Drive link. I will share this link in the description of the video. You just go here and there are various tools and this is the main tool DGIS version 767451. Uh, I don't know when I downloaded it but it works like a charm. Just download it from my Google Drive like this. Once it's downloaded, let it download. It is downloading, let it download. Let me turn on the magnifier. Okay, let the file download. So, okay, it's downloaded now. Okay, now this is the main software here. Just copy this file, go to any folder where you want to extract it. No need to install. The good thing is this is a portable version. You just paste it and you extract it using your WinZip software. You don't need to install it because it's a portable version. Now see, you got these icons here. Let me increase the size of the icons. And here you have this DG 7.6.7.645. Double click on it and here you go, the tool starts here. Uh, just uh, ignore the warning, it's a trusted tool. Okay, let's wait, let it start up. Okay, it is starting up. Okay, here you go. Now, this is your tool. Now, the problem sometimes arises that whenever you do this, this computer will, this software will not turn on. That happens only when you don't have these necessary tools. So, if it gives you an error, you also install these tools one by one. Like you will first download and install the viewer port tool. Then the software environment is your uh, net framework 4.5. If you don't have the net frame framework 4.5 installed already, already, just download this as well and install it. But remember, this is the main tool. Once you run it, if there comes an error, then you install the rest as well. But if you have all the necessities installed, then just 
uh, software will work like a charm. Now here you can see that it already have all the necessary tools. See, it have all the necessary tools needed to make the software work. See file, then you have common items. Here you have the bars that, that you will be using text shows, and this is a free tool, free and very easy to use tool. Now here you have word bank generator, then picture conversions. You need to convert the pictures to some BMP files. WA generator, UART tool, network, font generator and many other tools that will be needed here. Now guys, this is very easy and simple to use tool. So this is it guys. In my next video, I will show you how to make a basic interface on a DVN screen. I will be using a small DVN screen that I have. I think it is 2.4 inch and then you can also burn the same code in the bigger screen as well. Programming is exactly the same interface you will make here. Just resize the stuff while the pick programming or any microcontroller programming will remain exactly the same. So guys, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye until then.